hello everyone in today's video i wanted to discuss on how to perform the first step of every project schedule which is a very important step and that is on how to break down project into activities now before we start let's define what an activity is an activity is a basic unit of work as a part of the total project that is easily measured and controlled but most important thing to know about an activity is it consumes time and resources. The reason it's important is because this is what differentiates an activity from lag, which only consumes time but not resources. However, there are guidelines on how big or small an activity should be. First is we need to have reasonable activity size. And since we are using day as a unit of time measure, don't make an activity too small, that is a fraction of a day, or like couple of hours, or don't make it too long, like few months or a quarter. There's an interesting story which a senior scheduler at my company shared with me. He said that few decades back, before the use of software for scheduling, they used to tape big sheets of paper together and draw scheduling network for projects on them. Back then, they didn't have the ability to cover every minor detail in schedule. So they tried to cover the gist of the project. But in today's world, our attitude has changed towards scheduling, where some of us try to cover every single detail. That's what we should avoid and not make an activity too short. The other guideline which can help us break down project is understanding simple versus complex activities. What this means is complex activity is a combination of few activities that has combined to make the activity. The best example of a complex activity is of reinforced concrete elements, such as columns, stairs, slabs, or beams. Let's say we are building a concrete column. So sequence of simple activities would be erecting a formwork, placing rebars, placing concrete, and then stripping formwork. Now, the complex of these simple activities would be to have just one activity, that is to build concrete columns. Few people prefer to have complex activities in their schedule and few of us like to have simple activities. My personal experience is having simple activities make schedule efficient. It's easy to pinpoint any trouble and assign the cost or delay caused by any entity when you have the project broken down in simple activities.